So I just got this in from uh, Nomad ADV. Took a while to get it, three months. Um, Sherpa rack for the 890, 23890. One here's got a bit of a fold in it, it doesn't. And then the parts kit. And gonna get it installed on the 890. So here we go. So here's the parts layout, two long bolts, two short bolts, these four uh, recessed washers, and then four of these short guys, they are a Allen, not a Torx, and then these two spacer blocks. The instructions come, scan this, and you'll get a Google document um, showing you how to install. Got two long tubes, two short tubes, and the four of these angled rack brackets. And this, so it's pretty basic. I am not doing the top main rack because I have the Prin Moto. So uh, anyway, we'll get to assembling. Okay, so these guys here, two long bolts, two short bolts. Long bolt, long sleeve. Same here, long bolt, long sleeve. Short bolt. Short sleeves. So prep those. This block, um, obviously the shorter one goes to the front. This block goes in here. So you gotta put in and hold it. And then obviously wind this bolt. Get this bolt started. Move that block. Six millimeter. So it's not to tighten it yet. Just get it started. leave that layer like that and then <clears throat> there's two bolts here I've removed this front one and this guy is going to go into it like so I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to slide the block into here and hold it with my finger. And then I'm going to put the small one into here. So I'm no longer going to need this Moscow guard. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off right now. All right. Two pieces of your rack. Obviously, this one is curved. This one is flat. Curved will be for the exhaust side. This guy will go here. And then all we've got to do now is line up our holes where they need to be. And take our short bolt with the cupped out or recessed washer, like so. Line this up so that I can still access these Allen heads and figure out exactly where I want this guy to be. So I think it's gonna be roughly in this slot here. And then So this is the point where I didn't read the instructions properly. <clears throat> There's actually holes that line up, not the slots. Um, so there is an exacting position for these. But as you'll see later, uh, that put them too far back, back near the blinker. And that didn't work for me. And I ended up doing actually what I'm doing here in the end. So anyway, I'll let this play and then you can see my mistake and how I fix it. So. 
So these guys are going to go on. This whole line's up here and this whole line's up here. You may have to move these around a bit to get them in the right position in order for those to go in there. The important thing is that you can still get to that Allen head on the top side there um, once you have these bolts in. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and bolt these on. So that is this side on. Um, everything lined up to where I could still tighten these afterwards. Got these snug, got everything in position and tightened it. Um, got good blinker protection there. I, I don't know. I mean, it is frame mounted. I'm figuring it's going to be pretty strong. That's what it looks like from the rear on the offset. Um, I'll do the muffle side and go from there. Yeah, so that, that's the exhaust side, there's your side profile once again. Down from underneath, this is an arrow aftermarket exhaust and it is slightly rubbing there. So I'm going to see if I can bend this bracket in a little bit and adjust that muffler off there. Just a hair to make that work. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the the rackless 80 system on and see how well it sits on those racks. So this is typically where my rackless system sits and I have left the pillion pegs on because sometimes my daughters ride and they're out of protection and I tie my bags off to them but as you can see here there's a lot of rack sticking out the back so I am going to move these forward because this one here is not offering muffler protection up under there so I'm going to move them forward it's the same here really this heavy part of the bag this rack needs to be forward onto that so yep I'm gonna move them around and adjust them and see what happens so I've completely changed the position I've brought them a good two to three inches forward and I've used these slots to make it work um, it's gonna rub a little here but it kind of is what it is but on this side I think it'll work really well it's now covering the exhaust completely I may mean, have good daylight behind it that I would have wanted in the first place so I'm going to throw the bags back on now and uh, see how that goes so I didn't have to drill any holes I used the holes and slots that were already in the plates So that's more or less where my bags would sit. Um, I tie off to here. So it's got a little, a little bit touching the plastics there. But now we have uh, good muffler protection. So these bags are now well and truly off there and taking the weight onto that rack. Um, same over here. We now have most of the bag weight on that rack and uh, keep them up and away from the fenders. A little bit wider profile. But I think that'll be a lot better. Anyway, yeah, that's them installed. So they may take a little tweaking depending on your bike, but that movement forward of the blinkers, um, I just think that's a lot better in the position they're in. Nomad, ADV, 
Luggage, check the luggage, luggage rack. 